The business of pain. A growing number of Americans are becoming addicted to the pills that are supposed to help alleviate their discomfort. Last night, we told you one man's story. And tonight, what some in the medical community are doing to try and solve the problem. Dina Gosowski has the final part of our series. I don't want to keep taking, you know, this pain medication that could make me addicted to it. If I get off of it, I'll go through withdrawals. So it's kind of always a fear for you? Mm -hmm. Robin, who asked us not to use her last name, has been taking powerful prescription painkiller OxyContin every day for about seven years now because of her back pain. Though she's not alone, she is part of a growing number of patients seeing physicians who want to dramatically change the way they treat pain patients. What I'm going to recommend doing is what's called genetic testing. That'll help us better identify what medications you do or don't respond to. A simple swab test can reveal genetic markers that can determine a predisposition to misuse and abuse of certain medications. Tailored therapeutics is where it's at as far as patients care. Now we can identify how they will respond more specifically than actually doing the normal trial and error methodology. We want to be able to help relieve the patient's pain, correct? That has always been our goal is to be able to help relieve it, but now we're on tasks with being able to help protect patients from their inner demons, that part of their genetic profile, which makes them susceptible to drug abuse. But some aren't convinced. From those who help run drug treatment centers. I know that they've made great advances with genetics, but I would be very skeptical if somebody said if we swabbed you, we can tell if you're going to be a drug addict or an alcoholic or not. To lawmakers on Capitol Hill. I think we still have a long way to go to get to the point where we can like do a simple blood test and say, oh, you better never get this opioid because you'll become a I don't think we're there yet. But those still in recovery from prescription painkiller abuse like Bobby Long remain hopeful. There's got to be a way to treat chronic pain without getting the whole world addicted. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Dina Gosofsky in Woodbridge, Virginia.